If there's a sword here, we will find it. I have heard the most ridiculous tales about travelers being ambushed by vicious trees. <laughs> the Tristram fields are fair lands, fertile and temperate. Superstitious farmers kept away from them for quite a while after the fall of old Tristram. But time has persuaded them to abandon these ridiculous notions and take up the hoe and plow once more. Now they supply crops to both new Tristram and Wortham. Incredible feat! Studies indicate that a high-level cleric of the Zakarum named Akan began to sense the corruption that was eating away at the heart of his faith. He knew this corruption would eventually destroy his beloved church, and that he must take action. After much prayer, Akan hit upon the idea of an order of crusaders. I am undone. Demon spawn have taken root in my fields. 
That's usually a sign to leave. This land is all my family has. I cannot leave. Glorious development. Nothing. My land is saved. Bless you. Tristram's families will not starve thanks to the work we have done today. With it. Your grave awaits! now.
hideous little goblins have been robbing our merchants. When pursued, they simply open portals and disappear with the most aggravating chuckle. The peasantry seem to believe that the goblins serve a great demon lord known as Greed. <laughs> and furthermore, that their portals lead to Greed's domain. Uh, a ludicrous notion, truly. These creatures won't go down easily. are nothing. I heard there is a fine vein of metals and gems down here. Help me find it, and I will sell you my goods at a more than fair price. My knowledge increases. myself. Forces arrayed against us that are stronger than we ever imagined. Some greater purpose lies behind these trials, but I do not yet know. It is destiny. Let us keep moving. This is the spot.
This will help. A good choice. This will aid me. I will use this. As promised, here are my goods for you to look through. They could see me now.
am unstoppable. These enemies defy all reason! Dark Coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious violence may damn the whole region. I discovered very little during my eavesdropping, except that the word Magda was repeated several times in their chants. Oh well, now I journey to the safety of my home, where I may put these worries behind. Kill! We must hurry with the ritual! This darkness glows with the stranger's magic. Who are you to take what is mine? Well fought, but you will never possess the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears.
coming, did you? An unguarded chest? This couldn't possibly be a trap. Everything in these fields. Thank you for helping me fight the darkness. Contend with evil is the essence of what it means to be a Templar. There is so much more in this universe. Quite sure what all the fuss is about. You farmers turn our bed, and everyone goes running for the hills. I've lived off these lands for twenty years, and I have not seen any bloodthirsty monsters running about. Hm. No reason I should leave a perfectly good harvest. I need to go back.
Ah, good. Did you see that stranger next to old Kane? Ah, I was listening. The attacks may be slowing down, but this town is down. Hey, sure, I may do business with some unsavory types, but I pass the savings on to you. Fine choice. I've dug up. I worked my hands to the bone to bring you these fine goods. What was once one shall become four. Though the three shall become one, never again will the four be whole. We are not the only ones seeking the sword. I had to take the first piece from a witch named Magda and her crazed minions. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leah. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Magda taunted me, claiming to know where the next piece is. She said it fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leah. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leah, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. 
Magda's coven is a remnant of an ancient religion called the Triune that worshipped the prime evils as gods. But the prime evils died 20 years ago. Who does the coven worship now? The last two evils, Asmodan and Belial, remain. And if either of them are behind this coven, then our troubles are only beginning. This fragment seems very old, and very powerful. Indeed, it feels familiar to me, though the rest is still unclear. Your sword would seem to mark you as a great champion. If that is what I am, then my strength has gone with my memory. Perhaps when the sword is complete, it will restore both. How does one become a Templar, anyway? Were you born to the Order? No. Our scripture says, as a farmer reaps his wheat, so must the Order harvest and purify the weeds. That seems a little unfair. You are not a weed. You speak out of kindness, but you do not understand. When they took me, they saved my life and my immortal soul. What did you discover about your mother? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. I aren't so different. I have great power within me, too. The only difference is, I have no control over mine. That sounds... troubling. It's only happened a few times in my life, and only when I was in grave danger. Something rises up from deep within me and, well, I can't really explain it. Aren't adventurers supposed to, I don't know, do some adventuring?
evil does not rest. Neither should we. These fields used to be so beautiful. Uncle Deckard told me stories of them when I was a little girl. After much searching, I have found a promising lead. A family near New Tristram has obtained a valuable relic, and poor fools that they are, they haven't the slightest idea what to do with it. I have some idea of what to do with their daughter, though. <laughs> and through her, I'll get my prize. You there! Please help! They're going to kill my friend! Thieves are going to kill my friend if we don't do something! Help me break these bonds and see for yourself! What do they want with your friend? She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. He's deserted you. Just give it over! My sweet love will save me. Release the girl. The relic belongs to her. You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill the both of you. Not today, monster! You won't get away from us this time! <laughs> this isn't over. The rest of the Thieves' Guild will find you. Here's the 
relic, my love. I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us. But that won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brat... Uh, children. But first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. You're coming with me? Yes, yes! You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way! Wait! The relic is a fake! Gods, I should have known! You seem like you could use a helping hand. And I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering this criminal proposal. There you are. What have you betrothed? Betrothed? <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way, my name is Lyndon. What the tomes say of Alaric and this temple is not encouraging. must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Deckard told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest in the crypt of the ancients. Within them reside the keys to our sacred temple. Ancient doom hangs upon these woods. Are these Alaric's people? No, these are malevolent spirits. Ghouls are stronger than most risen dead, but they gain their fortitude through horrific means, feasting upon human corpses. These creatures are least dangerous while eating, but do not disturb them, or it shall be your limbs between their teeth. I miss Chaldeum. What do you miss about it? It's such an open and beautiful city. It thrives on trade and new ideas. There was always something new and exciting to hear or see. This is amazing. It reminds me of being a child and searching for lost artifacts with Uncle Decker. Up. I become more powerful. He's 
was so sure we could beat whatever traps the ancients had laid for tomb robbers. But the dead bodies of my friends testify to the folly of our arrogance. I will be dead soon as well. Our greed was our downfall. These flying creatures death with wings. This is over. I could open my own little inn somewhere, if I live. I don't think that life is for me. Well, if you ever want a job, I will consider you for I've spent years exploring places like this with Uncle Jake. This brings back memories. I too enjoy hunting evil creatures through strange new lands. I was talking about memories. As was I. These creatures won't go down easily. They should have run when they had the chance. I wonder who killed these soldiers. I think we'll find out soon enough. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got your back! Take the hill, brothers! Don't 
let these dogs have it. I believe we are fighting against both sides of an ancient battle. Our enemies are legion, but they will not take us without a fight. We must hold them here while the keys to the Holy Temple are hidden away from their leader, the fiend Nereza. Resolve must not falter, though we would surely die to the last man. want to open. The world is so dangerous. Everybody needs a quiet, safe place to rest and recover. A way station on their journeys. You must make your own safety. And I will. Alaric says that our people can survive the coming battle. I saw the truth in his eyes. Why did he order me to guard the beacon of honor? Those shambling things are slaughtering my people in the forest above, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Didn't see that coming, did you? Good thought. Excellent. Thank you. I used to love traveling, seeing the world. But not like this, eh? Yes, it's not like it was. Have no fear, Leah. We will make this world safe again.
Enter, and defeat the Guardians within. Although they are my brothers, they will seek your death when you enter. I cannot fault them for doing their duty. Look at this architecture. This predates the Sin War. Champions, what now do you think you are? You may enter our most sacred place. The spirit speaks the truth. This was a good place. I can feel it. The noble hero fought her way here just to die. Magda. And who is this you bring with you? Adria's daughter? She has power within her. No matter. Your mother will soon share your faith, little one. The shard is mine. Fill this temple with their blood! What did she mean, my mother will share my fate? Could my mother be alive after all these years? She wants to torment you. Don't listen to her. And what is the power within you that she spoke of? This fight is too easy. She's toying with us. We must get back to Uncle Deckard right away. Stone has been changed. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power, but instead turned them into misshapen creatures and sent them to war against us. We may die, but not before she is sent back to the burning hells. I think I saw you at an inn several months ago. Uh, that is likely. I have journeyed a long way. You were extremely polite, but tipped poorly, I am told. We should pick up the pace. From. Kingsport, the city by the sea, home to the great merchant fleets and endless nets of reeking fish. And your trade? I am between jobs at the moment. You've never done an honest day's work in your life, have you? Nonsense. I am the most honest thief you will ever meet. Wanted. One relic, scarlet, roughly the size of a man's fist, it was stolen two months past during a deplorable theft from the Merchant's Guild Bank. Those apprehended were not in possession of the item. Uh, the relic is greatly missed by its rightful owner, oh, who offers a reward for its safe return. Did you know that Leah has traveled a better part of this world? She's even been to Chaldeum. But I bet you've seen things that would shock even her.
You shouldn't waste time chasing women. Waste? Time is scarcely better spent. But you do not keep any of them. I've only found one worth keeping, but she slipped away from me. Still, you shouldn't bother every woman who crosses your path. Well, no. Sometimes they should bother me. <laughs> The World Stone was an ancient artifact of immense power. It was used not only to create our world, but also to control mankind. The original humans were known as the Nephilim, and their power was such that it was feared they would tip the balance in the eternal conflict between the high heavens and the burning hells. So the World Stone was tuned to lessen our powers, turning mankind into what we are today. But now that it has been destroyed, it is conceivable that the powers of the Nephilim will reappear. Tyriel was forced to destroy the World Stone when Baal, the Lord of Destruction, corrupted it in his attempt to control all of mankind. The World Stone's destruction must have unleashed incredible energies. It obliterated Mount Ariat, the mountain that housed it, leaving only a smoking crater in its place. And nothing has been heard from Tyrrell since. I heard that you took Leah on your searches for ancient artifacts and tomes. Wasn't that dangerous? Not as dangerous as you might think. There was a calm about the world then. Most people paid no mind to an old man and young girl, weaponless and penniless, crossing their lands. Uncle Deckard and I traveled all over the world in my youth, looking for lost lore and artifacts. It was so exciting, crawling around ancient temples, digging through forgotten crypts. I feel fortunate that Uncle Deckard raised me the way he did, the things I learned from him. But now I... I don't know. I see what his obsession with his quest has cost him, has cost us. The Drowned Temple was once known as the Sarcium Emporis. It was the most sacred of their temples, a site where legend claims angels would come to impart their wisdom to the Nephilim. Weep, Tristram. I tell you, weep. Justice must be broken so that wisdom can be reborn.
I spoke with that strange man next to Deckard Kane. It's odd. He doesn't look that old, but if you look at his eyes, I'd swear you can see the centuries looking back at you. We were only a step ahead of Magda, but now we have the second sword piece. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. That must be worth them. Ah, brilliant dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. Do you know anything about this coven? I cannot say, but there is something about them, a darkness that is known to me. A darkness? That's a little vague, isn't it? The coven may be part of a greater evil. Perhaps I intended to fight it. If you're going to fight, you'll need your sword. I lived in Chaldeum not too long ago. You said you were there with your father? Yes. He was a diplomat. We had a manor with servants and terraces, all of that. Everything changed when the trouble started. Somehow, rumors spread that my grandfather was responsible for the king's madness. My father's work fell apart. No one would speak to him. He kept believing it would blow over, though. Did it? No. I'd rather not talk about it now, if you don't mind. I've work to see to. I've dug up some new things for you to take a look at. Just the thing. I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. Oh, thank My goods are without equal. I've collected them from all parts of this world. I was thinking... Don't hurt yourself. I was thinking that we should try to recruit more soldiers. What happens if we get attacked again? We just spent a week fighting off hundreds of walking corpses outside our impenetrable gates. We're the hardest bastards within a hundred miles. Who's going to attack us? Chelsea, how sweet of you to ask. My people, the Vetchin, are nomads. Always traveling, looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well, for things other than my visions. But everyone wants to know what the future holds. 
I know what my future holds. I have seen it written. Can you not focus on anything but power and prophecy? Live a little in the here and now. It's all we have. Do not question the path you are on. It will lead you through things that will try your very soul. But you'll always have me to talk to. And your guidance has always been so helpful. You pretend you are a rock, but I know the softness you don't want anyone to see. Why else would you continue to come and talk to Miriam? Vile things transpire even as we speak. I see a town in flames and an old friend paying the ultimate price to reveal the truth. This is not news to me. Oh, do you have the sight as well? No, I... never mind. very interesting topic. <laughs> I sell jewels. Well, I suppose that could be interesting. What are you doing so far from Xi'an Sai? The women. Young ladies chasing me around day and night, begging for a kiss. <laughs> I had to leave. It was the only honorable thing to do. I somehow feel that you aren't being entirely truthful with me. Truth? Never touch the stuff. <laughs> you are very brave to venture outside the town gates. <laughs> I hear there are all sorts of dangerous things crawling around out there. If you consider the Walking Dead dangerous, then I suppose you are correct. Oh, oh that's terrible. I only meant the rats and snakes. I can see the fires even from here. Where them burns. It is only the truly evil who force the innocents to suffer for a battle they have no part in. I need to take the ferry to Wortham. I will take you, but beware. Smoke rises from the village. They're destroying the town! Get out while you can! One of the men retrieved a strange artifact in his nets. It looked like a hilt of an ancient blade, but I know it must be more. The fisherman argued with me, but I convinced him to leave it in the safety of the chapel. A holy place for a holy... Get to those! He's hiding in the chapel with the rest of the townsfolk. We must get to them. Don't run off! You'll get yourself killed! Fools! You cannot keep the sword from me! This is bad. My servants will burn this town to ashes! There's something coming. Save this. We owe you our lives. I seek a sword hilt that fell from the sky. It glows with a powerful magic. Do you know of it? We found it days ago. I wish we'd never brought it here. Come. I left Virgil to guard it. We will be glad to be rid of it. I'm going back to Tristram to check on Uncle Deckard. It's not here. Why, you are on your hero's errand here. 
I captured all three sword pieces and your friends. I should have known. I must get back to Kane's house. That Templar you brought to town may seem grim to most, but I think he's hiding a good heart. I don't know what would have happened to this town without Deckard Cain. I heard the Goatmen have come down from the hills and are killing anything they can get their claws and um, hooves on. We should have killed them all when we had the chance. Let's see. Rampaging Khazra, dark strangers appearing after a mysterious fire in the sky. Oh, and uh, miscellaneous tomfoolery. Just another happy day in New Tristram. So, what you having today? I really do miss that bard. The way he sang Bartok and Horizon could make a bad man weep and turn his life around. You're always on about the bard. Tell you what, why don't you learn to sing for us instead of complaining all day? Well, I'm more of a patron of the arts than an artist. That, and you have a voice like a wounded quill beast. True. It's your choice, Cain. Either use your Herodric arts to repair the sword, or your dear Leah dies a horrible death. <sighs> oh, this pain, this destruction. What is the sword to you? To me, nothing. To my master, Belial, everything. <laughs> Your rage is overwhelming, girl. You win this round, but if the sword cannot be mine, I'll claim the one it's bound to. In the end, the blade shall be mine. Uncle, you can't die. Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword. Must be made whole. Just as I suspected, the sword is of the high heavens. The stranger is an angel. Heed the journal. The truth lies within. Uncle Deckard! If only I could control this power, I could have saved him. Do not blame yourself. Magda is the one who must pay for Cain's death. Magda and her master Belial. The journal speaks of an angel falling from the heavens as the shadow rises from the abyss. The stranger is the key to all of this. I don't know if he's an angel or a man, but the sword will restore his memory. When my power erupted, I saw into Magda's mind for an instant. She's fled to the Highlands. You can reach them through the caves above Wortham. You have to know, she'll be waiting for you. She can set all the traps she wants. It won't save her from me. This damned power I have. Uncle Deckard said it came from my mother. He tried to teach me how to control it using his Herodric training, but it never really helped. He never gave up on me, though. He was a great man.
I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. This is not a time for mourning. This is a time. Want to find more gold out there? Bring a thief with you next time. How did you learn to fight? My brother taught me when we were younger. He thought the crossbow was the best weapon for me since it would give me time to run away if I botched things too badly. Where is he now? Oh, he's still in Kingsport. I expect he'll be there a good long time. 